Here, let's start with okay. that new NBC News national poll, which shows 57% of Americans believe the investigations into Donald Trump should continue. 40% say they should stop. When it comes to top issues facing the country, threats to democracy have overtaken the cost of living. The poll also shows a very dissatisfied electorate, tracking with other numbers we've seen for several months now. 74% of Americans say the country is headed in the wrong direction. A record 58% believe America's best days are behind it. And 68% believe the United States currently is in a recession. Republicans have a slight two-point edge when it comes to which party voters want to control Congress, though that's in the margin of error, a tie game there. But Democrats have significantly closed the enthusiasm gap. 68% of Republicans express a high level of interest in the upcoming election versus 66% for Democrats in May. That gap was eight points. Let's go straight to NBC News national political correspondent Steve Kornacki at the big board and the co-founder of Axios, Mike Allen, with us as well. So, Steve, take us through some of these numbers and what jumped out to you. Yeah, Willie, I mean, everything that we're trying to figure out, it seems, in the last month or so, is, is something changing here in terms of the midterm climate towards the Democrats' benefit away from the Republicans. Of course, the usual trend has been the out-of-power party. The opposition party does really well in midterm elections. Earlier this year, just about all the numbers were pointing in that direction. The question is, are those numbers changing at all? So let's take you through some of the big ones. You showed a few, and let's try to put some context on this first. The president's approval rate. I mean, typically, this tells you a lot about where things are going in a midterm election. The only two times in the modern era when a president's party has not lost seats in Congress in a midterm, the president's approval rating was sky high on Election Day. That would have been 2002 with George W. Bush. He was in the high 60s. That would have been 1998 with Bill Clinton. He was in the high 60s. You see Joe Biden is sitting at a 42 percent approval rating, 55 percent discount. Approved the last time our poll, the NBC poll, was in the field. It's been a little while, but back in May, it basically looked exactly the same. Start of the summer, end of the summer here. Biden's approval rating in our poll basically flat. You mentioned also that question of the generic ballot. In our polling, again, comparing late spring, start of the summer with right now, really hasn't budged that much statistically here. Republicans ahead by two now, had been a tie in May. This is interesting when you look at this one historically. Think back now, over the last decade or so, there have been two big Republican midterm years. That was 2010, that was that huge sweep when they won 63 seats, and that was 2014, Barack Obama's second midterm. It was a big one for Republicans. At this same point in 2010, Republicans were plus six on the generic ballot. It was clear by the end of summer 2010 where things were going in that midterm election and that Republicans were headed towards a very strong performance. I think what's interesting is if you look at 2014, which was the other big Republican midterm year, at this point, Republicans actually trailed in 2014 on the generic ballot by an average of 1.4 points. I think it's worth keeping in mind, if you think back to 2014, there was talk until very late in that midterm cycle that maybe Democrats were actually going to buck history and have a good year. One of the things was that generic ballot was favorable to the Democrats until deep into the midterm campaign. So if you're a Republican, you hope that this is a repeat of 2014. If you're a Democrat, you hope you could just kind of keep it where it is right now in terms of that generic ballot. Uh, and then you mentioned the enthusiasm as well. I mean, look at this change. I do think this is notable here. If you oh, we went one screen too far there. If you went back to March, this is what I'm saying. Earlier in the year, the numbers there were consistent with a big Republican midterm advantage. The Republicans had a 17 point advantage when it came to their vote voters say, and they had the highest level of enthusiasm coming into the midterms. In May, it was down to eight. Now that gap is down to two points. And if you think back to just four years ago, the big blue wave of 2018, when Democrats gained 40 seats in the House during Trump's presidency, on this same question, Democrats were leading by two or three points. So now it's a Republican advantage of two points in our poll. But the movement there, you know, it started before that Roe decision, but it's continued since that Roe decision. The movement there in the Democrats' direction, I think that one is interesting. And then you put this up here, 
the top issues, what people say the top issues facing the country are, it is interesting, threats to democracy makes number one overall. If you add together cost of living and jobs and the economy together, they would come to 30%. If you merge those two as sort of similar, that would be number one, although that combined total is down a little bit from our last poll. But what I thought was really interesting was just to look at the partisan breakdown. How do the two parties look at the top issues facing the country? And you see some pretty stark differences on this one. For instance, you take the question of abortion, particularly after the Supreme Court decision, 15% of Democrats rate that as the most important issue facing the country, five times greater than the Republican number. Only 3% of Republicans rate abortion as the top issue facing the country. And then how about this for an imbalance? Immigration and the border, 2% of Democrats cite that as the top issue in the country. 15 times as many Republicans, 30% rate that as the top issue facing the country. So there are some stark divides here between how each party universe looks at the big problems facing the country heading into this midterm. That's so much fascinating information in these polls. And Mike Gallon, if you just look at that screen that Steve has up right now, he's right. If you combine the, the numbers two and three, those are the economy. That's 30 percent. So that really is number one. But the fact that 21 percent of Americans now say threats to democracy are one of the most important issues or the most important uh, issue facing the country does show the impact of the January 6th committee select hearings and perhaps even now uh, the FBI investigation looking into Donald Trump. Trump. And this general theme, this general tone that we've been living with for a couple of years now about really the foundation of what our country is built on. Well, yeah, I think that's a great point. There have been a lot of debate about the January 6th hearings. They've definitely over delivered uh, in the content uh, and the drama that they have come up with between their live witnesses and their um, uh, uh, network documentary style. Uh, production, but this is a sign that is people are like, oh, is that only inside the Beltway? No, this is a sign that it's seeping out. And Willie, I can tell you, I've been talking behind the scenes with the committee, and for their hearings when they resume in September, they plan more blockbusters. They're thinking of it as season two, and they are not going to have a sophomore slump in their season two. They're definitely uh, teeing it up. In fact, uh, Liz Cheney, vice chairman of the committee, even uh, teasing the idea that they might try to call President Trump. Uh, and uh, yesterday, pressing Vice President Pence to deliver on his statement last week that he was uh, considering or that he would consider appearing. Uh, she uh, actually said he has an obligation to do that. So that's a big fight we're going to see uh, in the next couple of weeks. Willie, zooming back to this poll, and it's a, it's a great NBC News poll, 1,000 registered voters, three-point margin of error. There's two findings here that really leaped out, leapt out at me, and they're both very clever questions. The first one that we saw on that graphic earlier when we saw that only a third of Americans think the best is yet to come? I have not seen this question before. Uh, are we, uh, is are America's best days behind us? And I guess it's been asked because Mark Murray's story says that this is a, a record number of people say, said that it was, uh, that the best uh, days are behind us. And then a second finding, Willie, that we're featuring in Axios AM this morning was also a very clever question that NBC has asked over time. And that is about President Trump. Uh, they asked Republicans, uh, are you more aligned with President Trump or the Republican Party itself? And this is where we're starting to see an early sign of possible data showing an FBI bump for President Trump among Republicans. He could still have uh, this could be completely moot. Uh, he's, uh, of course, being investigated uh, for possible violations of the Espionage uh, Act. So your poll numbers don't make much difference to you in that situation. But we're seeing a recovery in this NBC poll from May until now in the number of Republicans who think that they are aligned with President Trump as opposed to the Republican Party. Why that matters? This is Trump dialing in to the idea among Republicans. The more that they are against Trump, the more Republicans say they're for him.